G'day, welcome back. Uh, I'd like to especially welcome my all my new subscribers, and I hope you enjoy the content on my channel. Uh, if you missed the last video, the, there's a link up there now. Now, in the video before that, the, uh, the fixed tool post video, I mentioned that I'd bought a big lump of S45C to make some tool holders. Well, I've had a little change of mind uh, about using all of that to make tool holders because I'd like a couple of V-blocks, which I haven't got, and uh, I think I'll use a bit of that to make a couple of V-blocks. So follow me over to the uh, saw and we'll chop a bit off and get into them. Alrighty, so uh, I've allowed for three tool holders, which allows about 60 millimetres left on the end here, which will give me two 30 millimetre V-blocks. So uh, that will have to do. That's what I got. It's a new blade. I'm trying to break it in. I snapped the other one the other day. So this is supposedly a uh, German-made blade, so I'm hoping it's a bit better than what it had. I just had a thought. If I cut that all the way off now, I'm going to have a hard time holding that to cut it in half. So. I think I might remark it and before I finish cutting that all the way through, cut 30mm off the end. Glad I woke up to that in time, it's the old order of operation thing coming into play there. If you're wondering why, uh, why I cut them this way and not stand them up, cut them down through there, I finally get better cuts, straighter cuts cutting this way. And if, if I cut down through it, they tend to run off. Maybe it wouldn't do this with this new blade, but I don't want to find out. Alrighty, so next cab off the rank will be to fly cut them. Hmm, that is a fantabulous looking finish here. I'm tempted not to run back over it, but I will anyway. That is an absolutely fabulous looking finish on there. Beautiful. That's one of the best finishes I've got yet. Right here, let's do the other side. For some reason I've got a horrible bit here so I might just make a really fine pass over that and see if we get rid of it. Well that is an absolutely fabulous finish on that, probably one of the best finishes I've ever got except I've still got this one little mark there but that's not going to affect anything so I think I'll leave that go. And I won't bother, I'll do the ends but I won't bother videoing those. Well, that's four sides of it done. I uh, haven't done the ends yet. Just been doing a little bit. <laughs> Stuffed up when I cut these up. These are uh, these are two different sizes. I don't know how I manage that, but anyway, because I used the vernier to uh, to measure how much there was and then halve it. But anyway, so we'll get on with it. Well, that side took a lot a lot less cleaning up than that. Then the other side, the other side don't take damn near half a millimetre off it to uh, clean it up. There are two little, tiny little marks in there, but oh, I don't know if I could be bothered taking them off. I might, might just take one more fine pass, but I won't bother video and taping that. Well, I've got to say, I'm pretty happy with how these have come up. Uh, a couple of little imperfections in them. Uh, this one, I scratched the damn thing with the file, but there's a little imperfection just there. This one's got a nice scratch from the file. This one's got a little imperfection just there, but I might uh, I might just give them a light rub on uh, on my diamond stones just to tidy them up a bit. But I'm pretty all in all, I'm pretty happy with them. And you can see here where I stuffed up different heights. <laughs> anyway, I haven't done the ends yet, but uh, I don't know if I'll bother. But anyway, I'll press on next up. I'll uh, mark them up, ready to machine some V's in them. Alrighty, so I've uh, marked it up. Set it at 45 degrees. Uh, the guy bought that Italian uh, roughing mill off. Also sent me down some other second-hand ones. There's a couple of dodgy looking bits right on the very end here, but 
that one there. But it feels pretty sharp, so I'm going to give it a crack and mill on this with it. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to get enough height out of that. Might have to change the Italian one, I think. Alrighty, let's get that off there and move this thing out of the way. Alrighty, don't want to go too hard at it, so... Uh... Yeah. Alrighty, now that I've got that down to very close to my finish sizes, I'll change over to a 12 mm mill. That's all the way to my scribe marks, so we'll consider that part of it done. Now I need to uh, get it out. I've got a slitting saw and I want to slit in the in the bottom of it, but I don't have an arbor, so I'll have to make one of them first. Fairly tough bit of steel, this. I I could run that up in there, but it uh, looks like I can't. Alrighty, so that's the... Uh, Harbour shaft done, nice clean fit on there, so I'll part that off now and make a cap for the end. I bought a couple of these little uh, mini carbide boring bars a while back, finally got around to making a tool holder for it the other day. Awesome little things, I used to use these a lot back in the factory uh, in our CNC's for making very small parts. Well, that's that. I had intended to use a uh, countersunk bolt in there, and I just could have sworn I had some, but it doesn't appear that I do. Oh, right, how true does it run? Oh, pretty damn good, really. If you've been enjoying this video up until now, how about doing me a favour and giving it a great big thumbs up? Helps me out a little. Alrighty, I'm kind of standing in the sun here at the moment because it's uh, peeking over the top of that banner I put up. Anyway, we'll fire this up, put some plenty of oil on it, and I've got it set for a one millimetre depth of cut here, so we'll see how we go. That's it, we're out the other side. And I think one millimeter's pro. 
probably enough. Well, that's it. I think I'll uh, clean these faces up with the uh, diamond stone just to uh, just get that little bit of roughness off them. And, uh, and I'll show you the, uh, the end result of that. Alrighty viewers, there it is. I uh, cleaned it all up. Cleaned those two uh, milled faces up in there. And I've got these uh, two diamond stones. This one's a, a thousand grit. And this one's 400 grit. So I gave a rub with the 400 and then with the 1000 and then I hit it with this bit of sandpaper. I don't know what the grit is on that because it's uh, printed on the back of that bit. But it's about as smooth as a piece of paper that one. But anyway, that's it. I'm uh, pretty damn happy with the way these have come up. They're, uh, well these, this one. I haven't done the other one yet. Uh, with the other one, I saw something on Blondie Hacks where she has a, it's set up like this with a hole in the middle and a couple of bolt holes for uh, drilling through round bits in the centre. So I might uh, do that with the other one. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.